Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. That, that's a lovely name for him at this point. I, we spent five years with him as Majority Leader. Said on Thursday that he likes President Biden personally, but he vowed to fight a political agenda he said is going in exactly the wrong direction. I like him personally. I mean, we've been friends for a long time. He's a first-rate person. Nevertheless, this is a bold left-wing administration. I don't think they have a mandate to do what they are doing, McConnell told reporters in Kentucky on Thursday. McConnell comparing his job as minority leader to being a defensive coordinator added that Republicans were in a reactive mode. I would love to find some things that we can agree on, he said, but added there are big philosophical differences, and that's going to make it more and more difficult for us to reach bipartisan agreements. McConnell and Biden served together in the Senate and cut deals during the Obama administration. When Biden was vice president, McConnell was either majority or minority leader. When Biden completed his final term as vice president in January 2017, meaning he was also finished being president of the Senate, senators, including McConnell, lauded him on the Senate floor. But McConnell disclosed recently that the two have barely spoken since Biden was sworn in on January 20th, though Biden called the GOP leader this week to talk about his infrastructure package. McConnell, while acknowledging that former President Trump lost last year, pointed to the 50-50 split in the Senate and a razor-thin margin for the Democratic majority in the House. I don't think the American people gave the mandate to drive, out, drive our country all the way to the political left. I'm going to fight them every step of the way, McConnell said. And let's explain why this is funny. So he cites, and I, I do believe him when he says he likes Biden personally, I mean, I don't think you would be friends with someone for 30 plus years uh, and just throw out, you know, throw that out the window. But let's remember the Trump era, okay? A majority of Americans support Roe v. Wade and McConnell led a Senate for four years that confirmed not one, not two, but what seems to be, I don't know what Barrett's position on this is, but we can infer three anti-Roe v. Wade judges, at least that was what they, the way they were described, conservative judges, the best way to put it. Um, and in this time period, from the time Trump started to when he left office, he had a narrow majority in the House, which is why it was easy to flip in the midterm, and a narrow majority in the Senate, which, you know, just barely was able to be cracked by the end of the four-year tenure that he had. So if the numbers don't suggest that American people have given a mandate to Biden to drive the country to the left. I would say they didn't give Trump, McConnell, McCarthy, and the rest of these Republicans a mandate to drive the country all the way to the political right. But see, this is what I was talking about when I said they have this, this hypocrisy that is so blatant and there's rules for them. There's rules for the left and not rules for them. Um, you would never see McConnell say when he was still majority leader, when the Republicans still had a, um, either had the House or had the Senate or had both. You would never see him say, well, we're going to work with the Democrats because we only have this many seats. And I don't think we've been given a mandate by the people to act in a non bipartisan No, he would say, I'm going to pass this tax cut that is despised by all the Democrats, kind of like how the... Um, COVID bill was despised by the Republicans this time around. And if they don't like it, hey, they better find enough votes. They better peel off enough people to vote against it. I I know this won't get that many views, but I just think it's sad that it they have rules for one side, no rules for them. And it's like he's in this minority position and is completely non-cognizant of how hypocritical this is. And that's why I said it's really interesting to just kind of sit there and listen to them talk to reporters. I like him personally, but this is a far left administration. He says that about every left wing thing that somebody wants to do. You want background checks, far left. You want a $15 minimum wage, far left. You want some environmental plan, far left. Like everything that he doesn't want to do is far left. So, you know, just... That's why I don't take him seriously.